All right, one thing I wanna talk about is what DLC will be coming. This is a question the community desperately, desperately wants to know, okay? When we talk about expansions for Hearts of Iron 4, we have to find how Paradox categorizes them. So first thing they normally do is they usually put it into like a theme. For instance, Man the Guns was all about navies, wasn't it? So it was UK, it was the Netherlands, it was the United States, and it was Mexico. And it focused a lot on like the, the Gulf of Mexico. And it focused a lot on the English Channel and whatnot. And there was a specific theme about navy. So let's go down that path. Let's talk about themes. Let's talk about what future themes could be. We all talk about the air, air rework. How it's going to look is unknown. I prefer it to be a very different from the tank designer, but I'm, I'm open to cool new concepts that there might be. But I think it's inevitable. We're going to see an air rework. Is there any particular nations that had very air-centric themes around them? I don't know. And then we've got the diplomacy rework as well. They will obviously want to go back to peace conferences and tweak them and adjust them and refine them and modernize them. So surely... Uh, that point they'll will focus on nations that focus on diplomacy i think in all fairness a lot of the major countries have already been done so i think making a theme around one feature or war expansion is going to be a lot more difficult you know the next part is region so not only theming of an expansion around a feature but also for regions of the world so for instance one typical expansion the last one we had poland the baltics and the soviet union once again they're all eastern europe and they're all focused around having to deal with the soviet aggression i suppose focusing if we we're dealing with the west or dealing with the East. It's kind of the same theme as Death and Dishonor, if you think about it, isn't it? Having to tie between siding with one of the, your enemies to the left or the enemies to your right, or trying to remain neutral, etc., etc. And that's how we got Death or Dishonor. We got Hungary, Czechoslovakia. We got Romania. We got Yugoslavia. And then we got Battle for the Bosporus, which was Greece, Bulgaria, and Turkey. So the truth is, we've had a major expansion for Hearts of Iron 4 recently. We had No Step Back. And with No Step Back, it had lots of new features as well. So probably the next expansion will probably be a small one. Just a disclaimer, by the way, I don't work for PDX. I don't have inside information. And I don't like have anyone like leaking information. This I, Some people presume I work for PDX and I like feed them information. I actually don't know nothing, by the way. So these predictions are completely from the heart. I have actually no idea what they're actually working on. Just a heads up, okay? To be honest with you, I would prefer if they did tell me because I'd end up leaking it by accident. The last expansion was a smaller one. It didn't include any major new features, but it included three expansions for Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey, which were relatively smaller ones. Bit of a controversial expansion, that one, because I didn't really particularly like how Bulgaria worked. Turkey a little bit as well. I wasn't a big fan of it. So my presumption would be the next expansion will not be feature based, will be region based, and it will be a smaller expansion focused on national focuses. You probably guess why I'm hovering around the Mediterranean so much. I think the next expansion, guys, will be an Italian rework. Oh, here we go. Italian rework when? Where's the Italian rework when? Now, motherfucker. And what else have we got? We got in this region, you also have Switzerland. We also have Austria and we also have Albania. So there's a chance these all could be included in a possible expansion pack that is just national focuses and not necessarily big breakthrough features. The idea of Switzerland and Austria actually excites the hell out of me because I don't know the history of these countries in World War II in the in 1930s, 1940s. So me looking at the National Focus Street and learning about that nation actually really, really excites me. It was like the first time when I loaded up Mexico and I didn't know anything about the, the in and outs of Mexico in this period. And when I learned about it through the Focus Street, it was the coolest experience ever. I had so much fun. Albania is a wonky nation too. I would love to see how they would make it a, a Focus Street for them. It'd be really interesting. Are the idea that they maybe choose to be a puppet of Italy to not get an axe or something? That would be really, really cool. Because the non-aligned Focus Street could be Mussolini becoming Caesar and declaring himself Caesar. It would like have a big penalty to stability, but if he starts to conquer and eat up Europe, he could basically get the stability back, proving that he is deserving to be Caesar. How awesome is that? That would be so cool, right? And get this. So you remember Mussolini was a part of the Socialist Party in Italy before he became a fascist. So what if he returns back to his root and becomes communist? And the communist path for Italy is Mussolini again! And why not go all the way? Why not go all the way? Why can he suddenly just change his mind and be like, let's reform Italy in internally and make myself democratic. <laughs> you see Mussolini. That would be so funny. Every path is Mussolini wearing a different hat. Oh God, the community will be so mad. Uh, Paradox can't be asked to do new portraits. So they just reskin Mussolini. Oh God, that'd be so funny. That should be a mod. I suppose the national focus for Albania would be interesting because learning about Zog is really fascinating, isn't it? Maybe this idea of integrating Montenegro somehow or Kosovo, making a greater Albania. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? How would you 
play a Switzerland neutral, make it a fun experience. I don't even know how it would even work. I guess maybe you could side with the Axis or maybe you make a super long Switzerland that would basically go through Austria, Hungary, Romania and like hug the Black Sea and then go all the way to Japan. Honestly, I don't know anything about Switzerland though, but it'd be really kind of cool to see how a democratic neutral Switzerland would even work as a part of the game. I can't even grasp the concept to be honest with you because it would be so boring, but how would they make it fun? Plunder Nazi gold. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Maybe the idea would be cool if you would stay democratic, but every time you took favors from the allies or the Axis, you would move ideology and you were constantly playing a battleground where it, you want to take as much from them as possible from the benefits of the war without joining the war, without tipping over the balance and actually joining the war. And if you push it too far, you accidentally join their faction. Like you're constantly playing a balancing act and then you reach a certain point where you're like so OP from all the bonuses around you that eventually you have to join a faction anyway. Minus 50% consumer goods. Minus 100% consumer goods. Austria is really interesting too. Like for instance, I feel like it would be a lot like Czechoslovakia where you would like become a puppet and you'd give up your sovereignty maybe. Maybe they could copy paste the Hungarian Austria-Hungary focus tree and give it to Austria. There would be two Austria-Hungaries then. Hmm, interesting. I really don't like the Star Stalin paranoia meter. It's painful and it feels random. I don't really like it. I wish you could have ability to, to basically purge no one with Stalin. Makes me sad that you have to purge someone. Everyone keeps saying that like, you should work a paradise. Dude, I know nothing of code. I have knew nothing of game design. These suggestions are most of the time crap. Don't put me on the same pedestal as the talented people at PDX, okay? I could never do what they do. I just talk to a screen and you guys throw money at me, okay? There's a lot easier wall at Paradox that employees do, put it that way. Anyway, let's just talk about other countries as well that haven't been done. So we've got Ireland. That would be so cool. Like the idea of tension between the UK and Ireland and Ireland potentially joining the Axis to get Northern Ireland back. Oh, that's so cool. IRA memes. Isn't that fun? We've got Luxembourg too. The idea of a grand Luxembourg. Maybe you would eat the surrounding states and have a big fat Luxembourg. I don't even know how that would even work. It'd be kind of goofy though, wouldn't it? And then we have the holy quadrility. Quadrility. Qu quadrility. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Mark boys and the Den boys and the Land boys. You know, the reason why they've not made an expansion pack for this region is that this area doesn't have a lot of people in it. I'm sorry to say this, Scandinavian boys. I love you to bits and everything. But your countries are massive, well, apart from Denmark. But you don't actually have a lot of people in them. So the problem is, is promoting these countries as a part of an expansion would not be very fruitful for PDX. They want to think about, like, playing a nation that people, a lot of people play. A lot of people live in that nation, so therefore they'll sell a lot of expansion packs. So it isn't, like, the most profitable option to go for Scandinavia. Hence the reason why this region has probably been denied for so long. But let's be real, Sweden would be really cool. The idea of playing as a kind of the Switzerland thing I talked about earlier, where you try and work with the Axis and the Comet and the Allies without specifically joining them to try and get the economic benefits. Being like an arms dealer for the war, that's so cool. I suppose you could maybe think about Iceland too, but then it'd be kind of weird because it's not at the start of the game. To be honest, I actually don't think PDX will ever make a national focus for a nation that doesn't exist at the start of the game. So I don't think that's ever going to happen. Same with Greenland too. Then you've got all the Central American states. All these ones could have a generic focus tree that all in common, all about forming United Central Americas. Then you've got the Caribbean nations, which are really interesting too. Haiti, Cuba, Dominican. It just makes really interesting nations. It, it's really strange how they're actually going to work. I guess there's going to be a unified Caribbean path of some kind. And then you've got big boy South America. Guys, as much as it excites me, the idea of national focuses for this region, I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. And there's even a small part of me deep down inside that says it's never going to happen. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. I don't know. This would require two expansions too. There's just too many nations here, unless they were lazy and just copied and pasted loads of different national focus paths between themselves, which would just be kind of lame at the same time. Dan Lin did say the old lead developer for Hoi 4 that every nation will eventually have a national focus tree. So maybe they will come to it, maybe they won't. I don't know. I just, I feel a bit mixed about it because there's a part of me that says don't put all your production time into a region of the world that a lot of people don't even play. As much as I love you guys from Brazil and Argentina, Peru and all that, I love you guys, okay? I love you. I love you. Thanks for watching my channel. I love you to bits. But the honest truth is just, there aren't that many people playing that region of the the world, that's all. Then we've got a bit of Africa. Ethiopia would be really interesting. The idea of somehow working with the UK to supply arms, <coughs> Ukraine. And then you've got Liberia. That's going to be really interesting too. Oh my God. Liberia, really interesting choice. Then you've got the Middle East, the Afghanis, the Iraqis, the Iranis. Then we've got Nepal, Bhutan, Tibet, the trifecta. It's again, another region of the world that barely even plays Hoi Force. So I'd be like, would that even be worth it? Then we've got Tanu Tuva on Mongolia. Probably would make unbelievably insane focus pass. Menchukyo as well. Then we've got Siam. Siam is, is 
up there, guys. Very up there. There's a very high chance. No, in fact, he's certain almost. Siam will get a national focus path. How much it was involved in the war, it will be in the game. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. So I would presume Switzerland, Austria, and Italy almost certain to be the next reworks. Albania is a, a maybe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bitch. Hey, you made it to the end. Now, this is the video you want.